Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome to update 1.13 for Planet Zoo. Uh, this update comes along with the new tropical pack for Planet Zoo, but you don't need to purchase the new DLC to get access to this new pack tomorrow. It will be out tomorrow for everyone, so just go and update your game and you'll get all those new features that I am going to show in, in today's video. Uh, so we'll go through all of those uh, things that are coming those are really really nice additions i am very excited by them and again thanks frontier for providing me with an early access to this update so i can do this showcase for you guys if you like to see uh, everything that you can see uh, in front of you in detail so all the building pieces and all the animals from the tropical pack uh, i will put the link to my new video uh, down in the description and on the screen so we can go and check check it out uh, so yeah without the further ado let's take a look, look at everything that is added to planet zoo with this new update I totally forgot to mention that in this update there are also some hidden things. Uh, so we'll get some new plants, we'll also get some new building materials uh, and I'll of course show it off in this video so if you are excited for that definitely stay tuned. It is super hard to believe but you guys right now are looking at the set of puffs that I added here. Uh, yes, we are now looking at the new new null puffs that were added to the game with this new update. So our guests are using the puffs but you cannot really see them. Those are just natural puffs, they don't need any curbs or anything like that to work. Uh, it sort of looks like a mod or anything like that but this is actually in the game. Uh, so if you'll go to our uh, paths menu uh, you now can see uh, the game highlights the null paths for us so you can see where I actually place them uh, but without it you basically don't see them at all they are just hidden they are just null uh, so it sort of looks like a guests are walking on just a solid ground or anything like that of course you can color it uh, however you like uh, you can do stuff like you know add different things to it and then add some curves and barriers for to place a hidden path uh, or a null path you just need to go to the path uh, menu select one of the natural paths uh, and in this settings here uh, turn off uh, the uh, curb on the ground path and right now uh, let me go to uh, you know, just a uh, free space you are just placing the paths that are basically there but they are not visible so uh, in here we just created a path but you cannot see this uh, and if we'll go to the paths the game will highlight this for us we can also uh, turn on the highlight or just do it nearby of us uh, or you know just turn off like i did right now but this is amazing i've been waiting for something like this for a very long time uh, i was sometimes using those natural paths uh, so right now we have to turn on the curb and we'll see those so i was using those trying to hide this with foliage with you know uh, rocks and so on and right now you don't have to do this because here is an actual path just like in here so this is actually amazing one of my favorite features of this new pack so the next big thing and this is a really amazing thing for us builders is the multi-axis advanced movement. So if you'll place for example a window like that on your uh, on your wall and you want to move it and you click your X button on the on push the X button on the keyboard we normally get those free uh, free arrows but right now we are also getting something like this and we could move the window like that or like that and we had to you know adjust by clicking and clicking and clicking right now you can just click in here so on the this place where those two like meet and by holding your mouse button you can just move it however you like on the same like axis on the same wall without it moving you know uh, back or without it moving forward uh, so this is amazing it's so so much quicker to build something right now uh, then just you know doing this and this and this right now we just take it I want it here okay I want it here okay <laughs> so it is so so amazing of course you also uh, we can also place some other thing uh, because you can move it those things in other maybe let's take this for example oh my god of course when I'm recording nothing is working the way I want 
Right, so let's place it here and if you like to do the same thing but uh, on the flat surface uh, in here you can of course do it by you always need to click uh, the thing between those arrows that you want the axis you know uh, so the axis is right now like here and I can move it everywhere uh, if I want to I will click this this will do this uh, movement so we can place it you know you can move it up and down and in those circles but you cannot go, uh, you know, uh, in the forward direction or back. <laughs> it is so hard to <laughs> explain that, uh, you know, not knowing the exact terms and so on. But you get what it is using or what it is doing. It is so amazing. Like, uh, you just need to try it for yourself and see what it's like. Remember the struggle of building something really detailed, uh, something from the wooden pieces, placing it in your habitat, it was meant to be a shelter or anything like that, and you realize that the animals can climb on it, can escape the habitat and it's all a mess and it doesn't work the way you wanted it. Uh, from now on, we have the climbable asset toggle. So, as you can see, I've... Uh, place this shelter in here and my Lark Gibbons from the tropical pack if you go to the menu and see the heat map uh, see the traversable area they are not able to climb on it it is because uh, when you go to it now you have this additional toggle it is said it's saying climbing disabled if I will press this it will enable the climbing and right now if you go to our friend our Gibbon it should be able to climb this. Yes, it is now in green, so it means that the gibbons are able to climb it. We can do the same things with, for example, this blueprint for uh, the uh, for this, you know, climbing frame. We can disable the climbing, and they will won't be able to uh, go there anymore. So let's check it. And as you can see, it is not climbable. So we can do this with all the things, all the materials that are climbable in the game. So with the uh, wooden pieces, for example, we have, uh, I don't know, this is the blueprint. We have some wooden pieces that are probably climbable. Yes, they are. And you can just click it and this plank won't be climbable for the animals. So I think this is totally amazing and such a game changer if you want to use more of those like wooden pieces and stuff like that while building your habitats. So for this next new thing, the animal sociality, we need to go to the Zoopedia and check some facts for the animals. So if you go to, for example, the African buffalo to its species data, so by clicking here, we can see that there are some new things. Uh, and this is the maturation rules. Uh, so uh, this bull or this buffalo uh, is matrirenial, which means that the mature males related to alpha become outsiders. What it means is that when you have a herd of buffaloes and for example you have I don't know six of them so you are not you know over the 15 uh, buffaloes limit, uh, every male that will mature so every male that will be born in the herd will start fighting with the male mature bull that is already the dominant male in the herd. So uh, only this one will fight with the uh, with the male. If you have a female and the female is maturing and is becoming an adult, it will just join the herd and they won't be fighting. Uh, so this is only one of those uh, things. We also have, for example, for uh, the African penguin, we have the gregarious, which means that the all mature offspring are tolerated in the group. So whenever it is a male or a female, they will just join the group and there won't be any fighting. Uh, we also have things like, uh, for example, I saw it for the bonobos. Yeah, this is the patrurenial, which means that the mature females related to alpha become outsiders. We have an alpha female, and if the uh, daughter or uh, offspring, a female offspring of the uh, dominant uh, alpha. Uh, female uh, is you know born and then matures uh, it will be just an outsider so it means that the herd of the uh, of the bonobos might try to fight it off so it won't be able to uh, join the herd 
Uh, and you can actually see this while playing. And also we have some solitary animals, just like a cheetah. So the solitary is all mature offspring becomes outsiders. So uh, we can only have up to three or up to two when it comes to those uh, animals, for example, like in here, uh, in the clouded leopard. Uh, so whatever, uh, it doesn't depend if it's a male or a female. If it becomes mature, they will just start fighting because they can only have two of them in the exhibit. Uh, we, you can go through the uh, whole, you know, uh, Zoopedia and check what uh, those like uh, maturation rules are for the animals. This is really interesting. Uh, sometimes it is a bit like, uh, you know, uh, it, surprising. We are going to test the new animal sociality on our Red River hogs that we have in the zoo. Uh, but this will work exactly the same for all the animals in the game. So it doesn't matter that those animals are from the newest DLC. Uh, I just was in this file in the zoo that I've built for the showcase of the tropical pack and I decided to uh, test it on our beautiful river hogs and we can have another look on those animals. So right now now, if you click on an animal and go to this social tab, uh, you will see uh, that it has this new thing in here. And this is the group of the animal, the herd, or uh, the, nam the name will change here because the group of the pigs is called the sounder. Uh, so we have all of the animals belonging to the sounder. Uh, the pigs, the Red River Hawks, can live uh, in the group of 10. 10. So we have 10 grown up um, like uh, adults and one male, uh, just ha as many as we can have in one sounder of the Red River Hawks. But we have two small ones that are about to, uh, you know, get uh, matured. They are really close to it. I already got the notifications. So we will see what happens. What, will, what should happen is basically that uh, there will be the outsiders and the entire like like herd or anything like that should be fighting them what we also can see in here are those uh, bonded uh, like icons or anything like that this is something that uh, the animals uh, will uh, get after spending a lot of time together like being in one herd together or if they are growing up together while being juveniles and bonded animals will never fight uh, their alpha or their bonded partners and can become bonded through spending time together and or by being juveniles born from the same two parents. Just as I said, now I'm reading it uh, from the official forum, forum post. It is unlikely that all animals in the large group will be bonded. As you can see, those were probably here from the very beginning. Maybe this one not, but some of them were. Uh, and they are still not bonded. Not all of them are. Uh, where was this? It's unlikely that, uh, yeah, the animals in large group group will become bonded but for example it, it can allow for more than two well more than one male to remain remain in the matriar society so for example if we have two males in here growing up and they will become bonded it is possible for them to the two of them to stay in this herd the sounder of those red river hawks and they won't fight each other uh, only one male the one with the crown as it says the male alpha the main alpha male will be able will have a right to breed in this uh, sounder but uh, the other one will be just you know they're just living in the herd without being uh, having the right to breed uh, so let me just uh, you know wait for a second maybe I will skip that and we'll see what will happen okay so they are maturing and uh, you can see they are still young but in here they already matured uh, this one, the male, is an outsider. The new icon just popped up out in here. And it is an outsider outsider because of the maturation. It is related to the material species, uh, unable to breed uh, or uh, and interact. So uh, this one is uh, related to the male and the male will fight it off. But we have also another female in here. Let me find it because we should get 
Uh, yes, it was this one. No, it was this one. And it is an outsider as well, but it is an outsider because of the overpopulation. So we should have some fighting going on right now, uh, if uh, I am correct. Uh, we basically have uh, 10 of them in here. Uh, we cannot have more because this is what the Zupedia says. And we will see if they will actually bite it off. Any other of those that were already here and were adults are not outsiders, only the one that was ju that just recently matured. Okay, so <laughs> I knew what happened. I had the fighting turned off and that's why nothing was happening. But as soon as I turned on the fighting in sandbox, uh, the fighting began. So we have this one female that is an outsider in here and this female right away started to attack it and they are fighting right now and I think that they will just fight it one after the other until this one is unfortunately down injured or anything like that because it is simply an outsider so yeah they are just fighting in here uh, until you know this will probably escape or anything like that other thing is that those outsiders, those are those two, are spending time together. They are also, you know, a bit uh, not interacting with the herd. Uh, the river hawks, they have this like social animation, which is really cute. Uh, they just wrap uh, uh, with each other, you know, their hats and so on. And those are definitely not doing that. Uh, so they are not interacting with them. Sometimes they are also moving in the herd and the outsiders are not moving with them. So this is really complex and this is really like nice and really interesting so okay we have another fighting this is the uh, our dominant male and the new male that was just uh, maturing uh, and this is an outsider because of the maturation and you know it's it's probably trying to fight for the alpha status but uh, this our alpha will uh, probably win uh, so this will just happen and happen and happen in all of your uh, exhibits when there is some dominance and so on. You can see that our outsider is just injured right now. So I won't continue that. I won't, you know, okay, it fight it off. Uh, I won't make them fight forever. So let's move on. You guys know right now how it is working. Let's finish this showcase with the new plants and building pieces that are introduced to the game with this new free update. So let's start with the plants and uh, actually we have a new sapling and uh, this is the sapling for the Cerutopia tree that uh, is from the uh, from the South America pack if I am correct. So it's interesting that we actually have a sapling in that in the base game. Uh, then we have those really beautiful small palm trees. This is the Kantia palm uh, in four different uh, sizes. Uh, I love this is my favorite plant for all the you know update, also the uh, the DLC and all the new plants that we are getting right now. This is all oh, this is my favorite. I just love it so much and I'll be using it a lot in my builds. Uh, then we have those really interesting pieces. Uh, those are also from the base game. Those are the tangled liana. So we have so many of them, and those are actually climbable and. Of course, you can right now uh, disable the climbing. So look how much do we have? Uh, how many p possibilities to build the climbing frames from them? Uh, how many cool things we can do, uh, you know, with uh, just adding them to our exhibits, just, you know, playing with them and the primates in the game and so on. Uh, then we have the tropical leaf liter. Uh, so we have those leaves. We have another set of leaves after the one uh, in the twilight pack. Right now we have those like more generic leaves, I would say. So they are more in those like uh, gray, green and brown colors. Really cool, suiting to a lot of biomes. So I will also use them a lot so this is all when it comes to the new plants in the game but we also have some new building pieces that i found maybe there are some new uh, things that uh, i missed but i just went through all the building pieces from the base game and uh, there are some that i think that uh, are added or i just am completely wrong or anything so we have the wagon wheel uh, that wasn't there i think we have the bicycle wheel uh, we also have the candles but this is i am i'm not so not not sure if they are new or not if we'll actually unpause the game you will have the flames in here and maybe they were added with the euro pack i'm not sure but i don't remember having this thin candle those are 
the, maybe the ones that we had. I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, and we also have the rough rope small and rough rope large and it is recolorable uh, and it is definitely a new piece. Uh, okay, and this is all when it comes to new things added with this update. Okay guys, so this was all when it comes to the overview of the new update 1.13. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know down in the comments what was your favorite feature of this entire update. Uh, if you are as excited as me for the new things, I am mostly excited for the new paths. I also really like the uh, sociality of the animals and I think that the new multi-axis tool will be very useful while building. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up down below. And of course, leave me a nice comment if you enjoyed it. Uh, and again, tell me what was your favorite feature of this entire video. Once again, huge thanks to Frontier for providing me with an early access to this uh, new uh, update so I can I was able to check it out a little bit uh, earlier to show you guys all the things that are added with it. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!